Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So, Christmas is coming and the geese are getting fat. Please put a penny in the old man's hat. Lockdown Lunacy, Island Edition. I did a video earlier today about this guy, Luke O'Neill. If you fought Dr. Hillary, who turns up on TV in the UK telling everybody what to do at every opportunity, if you thought he was annoying, then this is the annoying Irish version. Okay, so before we get into this, let's just let's just set the scene. Remember, Ireland are in the middle of a six-week lockdown. A full-on national lockdown, pubs, restaurants, all closed. The longest lockdown in Europe. Let's look at the figures and see what they look like for fatalities. We are talking single figures a day here. Even if you go back to September, it was basically zero fatalities a day. Look, you can see. It doesn't look like a terrible emergency to me when you see figures like that. Hey, but what the hell do I know? They just shut down Southern Australia with the world's strictest lockdown for a week. And they have not only zero fatalities a day, but zero new infections a day. You may ask, why are Ireland in a six week lockdown that will decimate the economy of the country? Well, that's a very good question. Why? Because they're in the middle of a pandemic, don't you know? Yes, a pandemic, the same pandemic that has a 99.7% survival rate. That's decimated the world's economy and given an unbridled consolidation of power to governments that are taking away your personal liberties and freedoms with the backing of the media. It'd be that pandemic we're talking about. So with that in mind, Dr. Luke O'Neill turned on RTE radio, which is Ireland's version of the BBC, and he started telling people what they should and should not do over Christmas. Speaking on RTEs today with Claire Byrne, Professor O'Neill gave a list of things to do at Christmas to avoid getting struck down by the deadly pandemic. These are Professor O'Neill's list of six golden rules of Christmas. One, for Christmas dinner. They should bring their own dinnerware. Bring your own plates, knives and forks. Two, only a single person do all of the serving to keep numbers down in the kitchen. Three, stagger people sitting around the table to avoid people sitting opposite each other. Of course, I mean, why would you want to sit next to your family at Christmas dinner? Four, have good ventilation. He stresses, this is very important. Open the window, have a heater on if you get cold and stick grandpa by the window and have a good breeze blowing through. And this will really decrease the risk. So it is possible to have Christmas together, he says. Poor old grandpa looks like he's gonna be getting pneumonia for Christmas. Five, do not spend too long in each other's company. You can't be having 10 hours in a stuffy room together playing family games, he says. And then the best one, six, he says, don't pass the gravy boat. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad someone brought up the issue of the gravy boat, whether or not to pass it to other family members at Christmas dinner. It's been playing on my mind. It's been giving me sleepless nights. Now I know, just don't even bring the gravy boat out of the cupboard, just shut it away. So there you go. If you're in Ireland, you now know what to do at Christmas dinner. Please know, this is not a joke. He actually said this. He literally opened his professor mouth and said these words. And he was being serious. And this in Ireland, with the minuscule figures they have. Anyhow, I see that Ivor Cummins on his YouTube channel has just put up a video about this so-called professor, debunking him and calling him out. It's worth a look. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.